Hey everybody, welcome, it's Andrew Ainsworth and thanks very much for looking at the video today. I do appreciate you watching them. First of all, you may hear a bit of wind noise in the background. It's absolutely blowing a hoolie out there. Um, I'm in England at the moment, Southern England, and we've got the back end of some hurricane coming up uh, through the Atlantic. So there's some big gusts of wind out there. So I'm glad I'm indoors. What am I doing? I am so late doing this review, folks. Um, I can only apologize. This club's been out for ages. And if there's a bigger rush to get the reviews out on time and be the first YouTuber to post review, I'm definitely the last on this. No excuse, been away on holiday, been busy in the academy, lots of other stuff going on, just haven't got round to it. So anyway, I'm here eventually. It's the Mizuno 919 JPX forged iron. Got the hot metal out a little while ago, but now it's time to look at this beauty. First thing to say about it, as you look at the club, it is pretty stunning. I mean, Mizuno have always made good looking clubs, haven't they? But this one, it does look the business. I, I, you just look at it and it exudes everything about Mizuno. You know, it's understated. The word Mizuno doesn't actually appear on it. We've got the Runbird logo here. Um, it just looks beautiful. And we're gonna tell you a little bit about the spec. As we talk about the spec a bit, we'll look at some video, we'll flash up some images. We'll pull some information down from the Mizuno website so I can give you as much info on this as possible. I'm not going to bore you to death on the spec because if you want to know all about it, just jump onto the Mizuno website and have a little look. It's very good. But we will give you a little potted stuff and spec on this. So what we can tell you about the 919, how it differs from its predecessor, the 900, it's got deeper, wider milling across the back of the face, which basically allows them to transfer more energy, more energy transfer through the club head. There's a trace of boron, which makes the steel billets inside the club 30% stronger, allowing for greater design possibilities. We've got this new pearled brush finish to it, which looks stunning, and it also creates less glare in sunny conditions. Um, loft on this club is 32 degrees. Interestingly enough, the 7 iron I've got here, by the way. Interestingly enough, the previous model, the 900, was 31 degrees. So we've gone one degree weaker. We have, however, gone quarter of an inch longer. Uh, we're up to 37 inches in the 7 iron. So we've uh, one degree weaker, but we're quarter of an inch longer. Um, not a, don't have a problem with that. I'm gonna get over in the hitting area. Um, I fitted this with the NS Pro Modus 3 shaft. Um, it's all regular length and lie. I've actually put in a Tour 105 X-Flex in this. Uh, my club speed's not fast enough to really get the benefits of an X, but I've been experimenting in using an X-Flex to uh, try and control my draw, shall we say. So I'm using, using the shaft, which is a little bit too stiff to try and uh, keep the draw down to a minimum. So we'll see how we get on with that. So let's get over in the hitting area, have a bit of fun and see how this 919 uh, performs. Looks brilliant, can't wait to hit it. Okay, everybody, time to put this club through its paces. As I look at it, it's beautiful. You know, we've got the finished top edge, we've got minimal offset, got this beautifully sculptured toe to it, the pearl finish. Let's get in there and hit a couple of shots and see what it can do. Um, I'm at the belfry. I've got 160 yards to the flag, plays a little bit uphill, green set to soft, and I've got Callaway chrome soft balls on the deck. Let's see what we got, shall we? Solid strike to start with. Might might pitch and spin back or it might just carry too far. Come back. Ooh, nice strike. Remember this plays a little bit uphill. So never basing a club purely on distance. Well, I'm not, although sometimes it can be a help. Uh, 86 miles an hour club speed, nearly 87. I've got 166 carry, 5125 spin from just under an 18 degree launch angle. How did it feel? Felt great. I've talked about feel in videos before about, you know, can you feel the difference between a forged or a cast club? Still, it, it depends. It depends from mate to mate, but is this the golf ball or a combination of the forged head? It, it does feel soft. So first shot there, amazing. Really, 
So good. Now, that was right out the bottom of the club, that one. Hit that so thin, but I've got away with it. I reckon the strike mark there was, was down here somewhere. I mean, it was really, really bottomy. So obviously the launch angle is going to drop substantially as I hit it out the bottom. Spin stayed up quite high and I've lost a little bit of distance, but I've got away with it. And I think this is the beauty of this club. It's People always say to me, you know, what sort of handicap should I be off to play a club like this? Well, it could be anything, you know. Anyone that can strike the ball reasonably well will get the benefit of these clubs. Um, I could see really low handicap players using these. I'm sure it's in the bags of a few tour pros maybe. But uh, it's going to cover a very wide range of, uh, of golfers, this. Certainly for looks, it's, uh, it's definitely winning the beauty prize. Let's go another... Good strike, nice, little bit pulled, just suffering a little bit with my, my overdraw there a little bit, but wow, what, what a feel, that's 183 carry, uh, 183 carry. <laughs> 163 carry that one, I could carry on and hit shots after shots, but I've hit enough here to tell you that this club for me, if you're looking for something that looks amazing, feels amazing, gives you some performance on off-centre hits, then look no further than this club. They are expensive. Um, I don't think I mentioned over there when I was telling you a little bit about the spec. I'll be retailing these clubs for just under £900, £899 for seven irons, so let's say four to pitching wedge. So, you know, it is a lot of money, but you are paying for some quality here. Um, and let's think about it, you know, a set of clubs like this should last you five, five, six, seven, eight years before you'd want to change. So if you look at it in that way, it is a lot of money, I know, but if you break it down over five to seven years, then not quite as bad. Full custom fit spec, I'm going to bang on my custom fit drum, bang, go and get fitted. Do not buy off the shelf because every chance you'll get the wrong setup. Go and get a fitting, loads of shafts to choose from, grip options, get the lie angle, get a swing DNA done. It's the same price for any shaft you want, any grip. So there we go. Really enjoyed hitting that. Mizuno, brilliant job. I think it's a winner. It's a JPX919 forged. Any of you tried this or hit it already, love to get your comments on it. Thanks for watching. Click on that subscribe button if you don't subscribe to my videos. Um, give it a thumbs up, post some comments down below, get involved, get engaged. I do try and reply to pretty much every comment I get if I can and I normally can. So uh, if you do post a comment, rest assured I will reply. Thanks again. Bye for now.